Young B in the ROC. Uh oh, OG. Oh, Just waking up in the morning, gotta thank God. The Nikonas in the Melos, girl. Still. Given that the entertainment business is known for its tumultuous and volatile couples, you might think it's hard to come across genuine love in the music industry. But the couples on this list might help you redefine the love equation with their relationship stretching over a decade and still going strong. Some couples got their happy ever after, from Ice-T and Coco Austin to Snoop Dogg and Shantae Taylor. Renowned as a highly talented Hollywood couple, Beyonce and Jay-Z's enduring marriage is still making waves. They first met in 2000, but it wasn't exactly fireworks. Imagine sitting next to your future love on a plane without noticing that was them. The spark took a year of friendship and late night chats to ignite. The first date was at Nobu, a celeb hotspot, and apparently things went well because they soon started making music together. Hits like Crazy in Love were more than just chart toppers. Young hope, y'all know when the they were early signs of their growing affection. In true Beyonce and Jay-Z fashion, their 2008 wedding was as private as possible. Things haven't always been smooth sailing. There have been cheating rumors and even an album by Beyonce, Lemonade, that seemed to confirm those rumors with lyrics throwing shade at Becky with the good hair. But they've also released collaborative albums, toured together, and even appeared in a fancy ad campaign as a couple. In 2023, Beyonce even gave a shout out to Jay-Z and their kids during her record-breaking Grammy win. So with over 20 years together, their relationship proves that even music superstars deal with real life drama, but love and maybe some amazing music can help you weather the storm. No matter what side, I love her the same way. I pray that I will because her strength and her is the strongest woman I know. Like her and my mother, they battling the form <laughs> one. <laughs> and not to mention, their combined net worth is estimated to be around $3 billion. Waking up in the morning, gotta thank God. I don't know, but today's... Up next is Ice Cube, the rap legend and actor who's been happily married to Kimberly Woodruff since 1992. Ice Cube, the rapper known for his hard-hitting lyrics, is a surprising softie when it comes to his wife, Kimberly Woodruff. Their love story began in 1989 at a mall. Unfortunately, she wasn't single at the time, but fate intervened and they reconnected six months later when Kim was single. Wow, you know, that could be your woman. You know what I mean? That was the first thought in my head. And I didn't know her, you know, I approached her and she wasn't having it. She, she, <laughs> she did not dig she, me, you, you know, know I, mean? I respect my wife, she respect me. You know, we really want to be around each other and it's just fun. By 1991, their relationship was gaining traction, and they welcomed their first child, O'Shea Jackson Jr., who later followed in his father's footsteps as an actor. Cube knew he wanted to build a future with Kim, so he popped the question in style with a diamond ring and a brand new BMW for her 22nd birthday. They tied the knot in 1992. Cube and Kim had been married for over 30 years, a rarity in the world of celebrity relationships. They seem to be a perfect match, and Cube credits his success and $160 million net worth to her love and support. When asked about the secret to their happy marriage, Cube says it's all about keeping things fresh and making sure his wife still sees him as the man she fell in love with. Even with Ice Cube's impressive track record, he doesn't have the one up on Snoop. Still doing this, Andre. Snoop Dogg and Shantae Broaddus are pretty much hip-hop royalty when it comes to relationships. Their love story started way back in high school. Can you believe it? Shantae was a fan of Snoop Dogg's music before he even hit it big. That's true love. In 1997, they said I do and began their journey as husband and wife. Go over there and date her for like four months before I was able to kiss her. I had to call nice. her on the phone. I had to write love letters. I had to do all of that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? The winner over. It wasn't always smooth sailing, though. Snoop Dogg's rise to fame brought challenges, and in 2004, they even separated for a while. But they figured things out, realizing their love was worth fighting for. In 2008, they renewed their vows in a public ceremony. Well, she just a strong black woman off the tippy. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
I'm going to just say that first and foremost. You know, the deal with Snoop Dogg, like, she's just a strong black woman, and she's my backbone, and she, she understands what's real. Some people don't understand that when you're dealing with somebody like me, it's a certain space issue, and then it's a certain time that you need to be right there and let everybody know what it is. Yeah, I am the one, not the two. You get what I'm saying? Like, show up when you need to show up, and then sometimes mm -hmm. kick back and let him do what he do, because that's what boss ladies do. You sit back and collect the revenue. Get out the way. Everybody <laughs> wants to be a star. His and hers. Knock it off. Even though you wouldn't think of Snoop Dogg as a family man, family is super important to the couple, and they have three children together. Things got a bit bumpy again in 2019 with some cheating rumors, but they shut those down quickly. Through it all, they persevered. Today, they're still going strong. After over 26 years together, Snoop Dogg's net worth is around $150 million, but according to him, it's only love and commitment that can really last. You can be so Alicia Keys and Swiss Beats romance blossomed from an unexpected friendship. Though they met as teens in the 90s and weren't interested in each other then, reconnecting years later for a music project brought them closer. Initially, Keys resisted working with Swiss due to his flashy personality. Was, she used to rap and she was in my class and she used to always tell me like, yo, you gotta meet my friend Ali, you gotta meet my friend Ali, see like what you doing, your DJing thing. But their creative collaboration revealed a deeper connection. Keys noticed Swiss's intelligence and awareness beyond his outward persona, shared experiences growing up in New York City, and their philanthropic work sparked a deeper bond. Despite Despite a rocky start with a missed lunch date, which Swiss charmingly recovered from, their conversations about life and their passions drew them together. Now the two have been married for over a decade, tying the knot in July 2010. Despite the challenges that inevitably come from marriage, their love seems to be as strong as ever. They share $210 million worth of assets. That's when all the pieces that felt like they were missing and all the parts that felt like they just didn't quite fit, boom. It all just came together. There aren't too many childhood sweethearts in the music industry, which is why the next one might come as a surprise. I don't have much to David and Tamala Mann met way back in high school while singing in a local group. But it wasn't exactly love at first sight. Apparently, they were both secretly seeing other people at the time. But over time, their friendship became something more. So I have to ask, Hamlet, how did David propose to you? Well, honestly, he didn't. I caved, Manda. That's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't propose. He just told me we get married. They've been through thick and thin together, including raising a blended family and dealing with baby mama drama. David says they made a conscious decision to put each other first, which is no small feat in the entertainment entertainment industry, where careers are more sacred than wedding vows. Their new project, aptly named Us Against the World, is all about sharing their journey and the ups and downs they face. The couple's combined net worth is estimated to be around $50 million. So what's their advice for couples looking for a love that lasts? It's all about communication and making each other a priority. While musicians will always sing about love at first sight, very few will have actually experienced it. But LL Cool J and Simone Smith make Hollywood romance look like a walk in the park. I can honestly say that since we've been married, there hasn't been any, any issues that I know of. I don't think he would want me to find out anything like that, but I would say, like, definitely since we've been married, the majority of all of that stuff taking place before. before we got married. It all started in the late 80s with a chance meeting. LL Cool J, already a hip-hop star, sees Simone and is like, damn, instant crush. They tied the knot in 1995 and became hip-hop royalty. They raised four awesome kids together, proving you can totally be a parent and still be successful, although Simone probably deserves a cape for holding down the fort. Life hasn't always been easy. They face challenges, but they've stuck by each other through thick and thin. They're not just about their own love story, though. They use their fame to help others, which is pretty cool. The secret to their success? Date nights. They make time for each other, which is important. LL Cool J always tells Simone how much he appreciates her, basically saying, thanks for keeping this crazy family thing together. You're going to just keep saying some people need all this other stuff and not say some people need love. <laughs> LL Cool J's net worth is around $120 million, so you can imagine him flying Simone to a new country for a date. 
it would be hard to believe. The dope I'm selling, you don't smoke, you feel. Out on the dance floor, on my... Ice-T wasn't exactly looking for love. On a music video set in 2001, the dude was probably thinking about rhymes and busting a move. But Coco Austin changed everything. They were like opposites attract. Aspiring model meets established rapper actor. But hey, it worked. A quickie Vegas wedding on New Year's Eve sealed the deal. Who needs a long engagement when you know you just know, right? She knows to start turning off thing and getting everything correct. It's about to get real See, that's serious. See, my turn on. I like his voice. Oh. get real critical. Somebody might get hurt. Their life together hasn't always been sunshine and rainbows. Coco's had her share of onset drama on Ice T's cop show, and their reality show exposed everything. The good, the bad, and the times Coco probably needed a stylist intervention. But through it all, they've become parents to their daughter Chanel, face down internet critics together, and somehow managed to stay married for 20 years. That's practically a Hollywood miracle. They share $45 million worth of assets between them. Yeah, you have to audition for these agencies. Be accepted. Even if you're Ice T's baby? Even? I, no, I wanted them to not give me any acceptance. I wanted to really play by the book. So their love story is hilarious from the start. They may not be your typical couple, but hey, that's what makes them so entertaining. Grant Hill and Tamia's love story began in the late 90s, way before social media documented every detail. The NBA star and R&B singer met at a Tommy Hilfiger party, and two years later, they hit the red carpet at the unlikeliest place for a date night, the premiere of Speed 2. But hey, love works in mysterious ways. We've been married, we'll be 23 years in July. Been together 26 years total. And, you know, as you talked about, had some health issues. You know, watching her, first of all, when she was diagnosed and how she attacked that, had tremendous strength. And really, is that was in 2003, so it's almost been 20 years. By 2000, they were a glowing newlywed couple. And soon after, Tamia proudly debuted her baby bump at Michael Jackson's 30th anniversary party. Now, they keep things low-key, but glimpses on Tamia's Instagram show they still cherish creating memories together, like their recent family trip to the Empire State Building. With his $180 million net worth, I think he can more than afford it. It's a reminder that love can blossom in unexpected places and that sometimes the best dates involve questionable movie choices. I love Imagine Smokey Robinson, the My Girl legend, finding love later in life. Not with some glamorous starlet, but with a down-to-earth interior designer named Francis. They met in a casual L.A. friend group. Can you believe their first date was a secret because they were worried their friends would gossip? Fast forward to 2002 when they finally tied the knot. Francis isn't just his wife, though. She inspires him. There's even a song on his latest album, hinting at their secret romance. They've even collaborated on businesses like a skincare line for people of color and their own brand of wine. Sure, they keep their life private, but you can tell they're crazy about each other. Francis gushes about Smokey on social media, and he dedicates sweet posts to his Mrs. Francis Robinson. So Smokey Robinson's love story is all about finding love in unexpected places. But hey, behind all that glitz, he's managed to accumulate a net worth of around $80 million. The music scene isn't all about scandal, drama, and heartbreak. It can also be the birthplace of relationships that can span decades. That is the irony. Who is your favorite celebrity couple? You can check out The Tragedy of Brandy Norwood's Life.